my life five years ago when I moved back to India, growing up in New York, as an investment bank. Uh, two years later, I became a social venture capitalist and started looking at, uh, you know, investing in the base of the pyramid and building a social impact, but in a for profit bank. So I have successively been sort of making this journey, and now, as Ms. Neha said, like many other French speakers, gone completely crazy and become a almost a pure So this, this concept of uh, social commercial balance is what I've been exploring, and exactly one year ago, I finally came across that idea that helped me find that balance. And what is that idea? So this is just a quick anecdote. Uh, in 1946, Life magazine in the US asked, uh, ask uh, 15 or so eminent American potential presidential hopefuls to summarize in 150 words or less what would be the first two things you do if you were the president or were it that way. And Mr. Pugh answered in just seven words, tell the truth and trust the people. I just put the flag there because this is happening around the same time that our country was uh, gaining its independence. Small problem here with the clicker, but five years later, seven years later, his relative or colleague defined this in a more detailed way. What does this mean? No subversive force can conquer a nation that has not first been conquered by subversive inactivity on the part of its citizens who have failed in their duty to serve their country. What does this mean? It basically made me realize you can't just blame the government for the system, right? You have to look at how can, you know, what's, what's happening with the public, what's happening with the citizens, 